Hi everyone and welcome back to this tutorial series on beginning with Ember.js. My name is Sean Gorish and in this tutorial I'd like to give a heads up on what you'd need to know to continue with this course. Over the course we'll be looking at Ember.js and how to start writing our applications in the framework but you'll need to know how, a couple things to get started. First of all you'll need to have a basic understanding of JavaScript and if you don't already just head on over to JavaScript on Google and you can find a lot of great tutorials. Um, some of the best resources that I've found um, personally are on Khan Academy, Code Academy, and there are many others such as Udemy which can charge you. There's lynda.com and there's Pluralsight. There's a number of them that offer JavaScript tutorials. And if you are cheap, you can find them in other places. I'm not allowed to say where those places are, but I'm sure you can extrapolate on where those places might be. And uh, I do recommend that you have uh, just a brief understanding of how that works because I'm going to be going fairly quickly in these tutorials and I don't plan on going slower because this is, I'd like to give a best representation of how it will be to code in Ember.js. So with that in mind, you'll also need to have a basic, under basic understanding of CSS3. Um, this is the newer standard of CSS. You might be familiar with CSS2 if you've been programming, if you've done any web, web application programming. Uh, that was an older version. You may have seen um, old things like title and uh, center. Those are those are older. And I'll be uh, quickly doing CSS in this tutorial series, so I need to make sure that you have a good understanding of CSS. Now, once again, you can find the same resources online if you look at um, like whatever Treehouse, Code Academy. They've all got their own tutorials on CSS. So definitely have a look at those if you feel that you're a little bit rusty. Otherwise, you can just follow along and um, that should be okay. Now one other note is that we're not just using JavaScript here, we'll be using um, ES6. So this is a newer specification of JavaScript and, and there's a lot of great things you can do um, with ES6. If you want to get familiar with ES6, I definitely recommend you head on over to uh, my friend. He has a website here. So it's right over here, kevinb7.github.io slash es6playground and here you can find every example you could possibly want for what you can do with ES6 and how it works and not only that but the code that it compiles down to um, with the polyfills. So if you don't know what any of these uh, terms mean, definitely have a look at these tools because I will not be going as slow as I do in some of my videos. Now there are some other things that you should be familiar with. Um, you, if you haven't used Node.js before in the command line, uh, our projects will be heavily dependent on those tools. So make sure that you have Node.js installed and um, that you've also followed along. Now I'll be doing a quicker tutorial on how to get everything bootstrapped and set up. I do not think I'll be doing one for Mac, so Mac is just the same as Windows, but I might. Anyway, um, this is what you should know to get started with this. And finally, of course, you'll need to know some HTML5 um, and templating languages, which are are pretty good. Never go to W3 schools, please. So just don't ever go there, but go anywhere else. Okay. Well, anyway, um, let's get started. 